Oh my gosh. You all know Poppy Playtime, right? The new mascot horror game that just released a little bit ago that could possibly give you nightmares, but not me. Honestly, I love the game so far. And the reason I've said so far is because I haven't even been able to complete it yet. That is because there is a certain section of the game that I believe is too hard for your average player. And that is the Miss Delight Chase. <laughs> oh my gosh! She works like a Weeping Angel character where you have to look at her to keep her from running at you and killing you. <laughs> While simultaneously trying to use your green hand and open doors and get out of the school. It's a very tasky chase. Now no YouTuber has done it without at least getting killed more than once. No, I'm dead. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It is one of the hardest parts of the game. This chase with Miss Delight is actually very long, and if you die at the very end, you have to do it all over. Run. <laughs> no. No 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 I swear. Are you fu- I'm no professional speedrunner, so it is very hard for me to get through this. This can be very angering for some players, including myself, as I made it all the way to the end, and when it came to pull the lever, I pulled it, but it didn't work, and I died. And I had to start all over! Now this could be I just don't know what I'm doing, but I think I do. I've played this chasing enough times, not completing it. Now Mob Games, if you're listening, I have some tips that can make this chase seem better. Main thing. Add check points. You know those little saves that happen when you get through portions of the game? You know it says saving on side? So that that's where you like load back. I think for every door you open during this chasing, you should get that little save on the side of your screen. So if you die at the, <laughs> the very end, you spawn like right back at th that door instead of being forced to do it all over again. Are you fu- And so when you spawn at these like checkpoints, like spawn right at the door, the previous door that you just opened, you're going to be looking at Miss Delight. So you don't spawn in and like instantly die because you're not looking at her. Oh my gosh. I think checkpoints during this game could definitely increase the replayability. And if you die during this chase scene, you won't lose as much progress and you won't get so mad at the game and like rage quit. Also, this makes it easier for new players wanting to try out the game because honestly, it's a very recommended horror game. I definitely think that is one of the biggest things that could help this game. Very, very good. Now, some extra notes. The main thing was checkpoints, but some other things. Like letting us keep the flashlight on while we're uh, during, the, during the chase scene. Because when the lights go off, I cannot literally see anything. I know this could be for the scare factor, but... I can't even seem scared because I'm absolutely blind. I cannot even see her eyes. I have to scramble to look around for her. And sometimes I think I see her, but it's like something else. So by the time I see her, I'm dead. Also, um, if you're still watching and enjoying this, you should definitely like and subscribe for uh, more content like this and other games. Tell me your thoughts on Chapter 3 and if you agree with these. And also, we are trying to get to as many subscribers as vids that I have posted. So, um... Yeah, support would really help. Anyway, let's go back to the vid. Alright, so the last note I would like to make is that you have her not move when the lights are on. I'm not sure if this is actually in here because, like, I'm usually just looking at her the whole time. But, like, the overhead lights, you know? So, she doesn't move when the overhead lights are on. So, so if you guys don't want to have the grab pack light on, you know, and still have me scramble around and stuff, but maybe just have her not move when the lights are on. You know, have the lights on a little longer so you have time to do something. And so that when you turn off, you still have to go and look for her. So it's still a little challenging, but not as challenging. But still with the checkpoints, we need that those checkpoints. Hashtag checkpoints for Miss Delight. You can feel more safe when you turn your back when the lights are on. But when the lights are off, you know that she's going to be coming. So that can still have that scare factor, making it a little bit easier. And along with the checkpoints, we should really implement in this chase scene. Cannot hammer it home enough. Honestly, with the gameplay I've played so far, and the criticism I have given in this video, it's all very, it's all constructive. I really like the game. 
so far. Love the horror, the thrill, the visuals, and the puzzles. I love the little slappy hand grab pack. So you should definitely play Chapter 3, and I will work on a review for the game. When I can finish it, when you implement checkpoints, so mob, please listen to this. But also, just, you know, just take these ideas into consideration, mob, if you see this video. These past vids are not what you guys are used to, but I feel like this is something I had to talk about. And hopefully, somebody listens. But, that's all for now, guys. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you in the next vid. Ciao, ciao for now.